Hello my friends, what's up? The Dutchman Ruben Buijs here. Glad you could make it. Uh, I will cut down on the nostalgia part. Uh, been talking about my love for Metallica since I started the channel. So I won't tell you that I will be listening for that I already have been listening to Metallica for over 30 years, so that they're my favorite uh, metal album. I won't tell you that. And uh, <laughs> silly. All right, uh, 72 seasons. Um, I was at the premiere uh, last night. When I showed it in uh, cinemas everywhere, all around the world. Mm. The four singles that have or that had already been released today really have grown on me, especially when, uh, especially if Darkness had a son. It's, I absolutely adore that track right now, and the first time I listened to it, I had to, it really was meh. You can check out my reaction video. But I've grown to love it. I also loved 72 uh, Seasons, really an awesome track, Alexa Turner. Screaming Suicide is my least favorite, but I already um, have already appreciating it, appreciating, it, appreciating it a lot more. Now we have the entire album. Oh boy. You know, I don't want to make the same mistake by saying it has to grow uh, on me, because I've said that, on, uh, I said that about all the, the track released. So... But... I have just no choice. Again, this album, all the tracks uh, I, I saw it let's say uh, you know in theaters, and I've listened to the album about two or three times today. The tracks are getting better. It's a very uh, solid album, and dare I say, Metallica are experimenting a little bit uh, more. It's got the uh, entire album has got. A great goof, but don't expect. And again, but this has been playing, uh, you know, uh, for years. Don't expect another uh, Metallica, uh, uh, Metallica's Master of Puppets, or Ride the Lightning. That's not gonna happen. I think also the songs uh, Lex Eterna and Seventy Two Seasons are the most metal tracks on the album. I think the most fa the the fastest songs. Make put it like that. And if we compare to Load and Reload, Hardwired, uh, Death, Magnetic, Death Magnetic, you know, the, 20, the old 20th, uh, 21st century albums, right? This one is the most, how shall I say, most constant in quality. It it's really has no dips. On the other hand, it, it doesn't have many highs either. It's it's sonically, uh, I think, a lot of the same, but a little bit less dynamics, and which makes for, I wouldn't say predictable, but it's more of a linear line of quality, which is going on. And because of that, it, do, it becomes less interesting because it's, you know, 12 tracks, 75 minutes, holy, holy hell. And f f for an album be to be that, uh, for an album to be that long, it, it has to have a little, a little bit more of a variety, a little bit more of surprises. And... I don't think that's happening on this uh, album. The production is out of this world, let that be clear. James Hetfield, his voice is incredible. It never, it, we were talking about this style, the 21st century style. It has never been better. He sounds so good. Lars, uh, the drums, also the drums, fantastic. Every, all four of them. No, really, really uh, shine. The album really let the four guys uh, shine. So that's a big, big plus. M maybe the most well-produced album of Met that Metallica has ever had. 
and James's lyrics, you know, if you think he was personal on Load and uh, Reload, he got another thing coming. Of course, James had had, uh, you know, he had a divorce. Again, he, he went to rehab. So a lot of uh, things have been going on in his life. So that explains why, again, his lyrics are really dark with a lot of melancholy uh, in it. Also, a lot of hope, a lot of self self-reflection, but also a lot of sadness. I think James had felt absolutely fantastically resistant. So no complaints there. But the album doesn't, does, again, it maybe it'll grow on me. <laughs> and I, can't, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. It could have used a little bit, uh, maybe one or two, a little bit more uh, slow song, but it, it would call it a ballad, but if you know how the Unforgiven, uh, what like, Unforgiven is all about, and you know, Fade to Black, that it would have really benefited the album, I think. It, it almost, because it's, it's, and I saw it in, again, I saw it in theater, it, it almost sounds a little bit, tracks, it becomes a little bit of a blur, because there's not enough distinction between the, between the, the, the tracks. Which really is a pity. I think it's got some great, uh, great uh, riffs in there. Um, of course, if you listen to the four tracks, I like all the four released singles. Thank you for it. We got, of course, the last song is in Amarata, which is over 11 minutes. It's the longest Metallica track. Bit of a. Uh, it's cool that they're experimenting a little bit, and that it should have used. It could have used a little bit more of of uh, that kind of style, that kind of experimentation. Yamam has got a lot of groove. Metallica is experimenting uh, on this album, but it's that really went on this album really went one direction. And I can't believe I'm saying that Metallica could have used a, a slower track, one or two slower tracks, but uh, that's the way it is. If I would have to rate it right now, I think three out of five, and maybe I hope that it will grow. But when I sat in the theater, not one track of the, of the eight new tracks, not one of them blew me away by first listening. And I've listened to Metallica all my life and read one of the tracks for the first time. You immediately know that was a winner. Immediately. Like Moth into Flame, uh, Spit Out the Bone, The Name That Never Comes, uh, Love Until It Sleeps, that there was something like, wow. You know. And even then, the, the songs were growing. In quality, I mean, when we're talking about personal taste, but listening to the eight new tracks, not one of them had that. That's a little bit scary. And of course, it will grow, but sometimes it has to grab you by the throat right away, and that did not happen with me. Hmm. So I'm gonna give it this uh, a couple of more goes this weekend. Absolutely, I've got uh, one of the best tracks that, that, that we were talking about. Sleepwalk my life away. That, that's a real winner. We've got a great bass, but almost a little bit of a Red Hot Chili Peppers vibe uh, going on. So Rob is having the time of his life, uh, I think. But it's. It almost those two are it come a little bit too monotonous. And with 70, 77 minutes, oh boy. They should have got some fat. Maybe even, uh, you know, scrape to just one or two songs and, 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 and downplay a couple of the tracks by one or two minutes. I think it would have, it would have become a, a stronger album. But that's something we will never know for sure. So that's my opinion right now. But between you and me, me friends, you know, opinions change when it comes to music. We all know that. And that's a good thing. Metallica is back. Seeing them live two times this month. Life's good. And if this album has, will grow a little bit more. Gonna have two fantastic evenings. We're really looking forward to the live shows. 
My friends, what do you think? Agree with me, disagree with me, I, I would love to know your opinion. This is how I think about it right now. Let me know. You guys are the best. See you soon.